Hello and welcome to this Rapid Plan 3.9 tutorial. In this short clip we'll be looking at the new features in this release and how they're going to make your traffic control planning work even easier. Two major additions are the ability to create object styles using on-site distance units and a dedicated control providing quick access to your plan's print regions. But before we look into the details of these two features, let's quickly go over some of the smaller changes that might prove to be very handy in your daily work. First of all, uh, please note that TCT templates are now also included in the recent plans list, both here in the Welcome tab as well as in the File menu. Anytime you create a custom template or use one to start a new plan, it will appear on the list. If you have a set of templates used most often, you can consider pinning them to the top of the list for quick access. To create a new plan using the template, simply select it from the recent plans list. Moving on to a plan canvas now for a couple of quick drawing tips. For all objects containing text, you can now toggle the font underline decoration by expanding the font property and clicking the new underline button next to the bold and italic switches. When drawing a base map plan, you can now right click anywhere on the plan uh, and if you expand the location menu, there's a list of external services you can open right at the selected location, which is perfect for a quick preview of the site in open services like Google Street View. Alternatively, you can also copy the location coordinates. If you've ever used our sign stand tool to present the exact position and orientation of posted signs, you'll remember that the sign and the stand remain separate objects. Um, so when removing signs from a plan, you always had to make sure to remove all leftover stands. Rapid Plan 3.9 makes it easier as you can simply select one or more signs and use the Alt plus Delete shortcut to remove them together with all connected stands. Please note that if a stand is also connected to other signs, it will not be removed and instead a notification method message is displayed. A side note for users with licenses for RapidPath or Swept Path Analysis Suite. Uh, the new update includes faster and more precise Swept Path calculations as well as a few new features like adjustable load on vehicles like forklift and the ability to export animated vehicle path movement. Once you draw the vehicle Swept Path, right click on it and select Vehicle Path Animate Movement. In the panel that pops up, uh, you can adjust playback speed and uh, set the recording uh, region. Finally, click Save to export the animation to a GIF file. The process might take a couple of minutes for longer animations, uh, but once finished it creates a GIF file you can share with other people. Okay, so moving on to the most exciting Rapid Plan 3.9 additions, uh, let's look at the ability to style objects using on site distance units. Uh, let me draw two lines of delineators uh, and we'll set their cone spacing to 10 meters. By the way, I'm using delineator device spacing as an example here, but the feature we'll be talking about applies to all object properties marked with this little scale icon. We call them scaled properties, and this means their value can be set using on-site distance units like meters, uh, which are then converted to on-plan dimensions uh, based on the current plan scale. Uh, if you look at a road object, for example, it contains many such properties, uh, for example, lane widths or things like lane marking dash lengths. But anyway, let's go back to our delineators with uh, device spacing set to 10 meters. If you select one of them and scroll down uh, through its properties, uh, you'll notice um, a new property called Scaled Properties Auto Adjust. Enabling this option will make uh, this object automatically adjust its device spacing uh, to ensure the value in on-site units remains the same even when the plan scale changes. So uh, this delineator has the Auto Adjust mode enabled and the other one doesn't. So let's change the plan scale and see what happens. 
the current scale value is uh, 1 to 500 so let's make it 1 to 1000 instead so at this scale the same on plan distance covers a larger on site distance where we had 10 meters we now have 20 meters uh, the delineator with auto adjust mode disabled looks the same as before so its on site spacing has also changed to 20 meters but the one that does auto adjust has changed its on plan device spacing and draws them closer together in order to preserve the on site spacing at 10 meters before we move on to explaining how important this feature actually is let's quickly summarize when auto adjust scaled properties mode is enabled all scaled properties will, properties will preserve their on-site distance values regardless of the underlying plan scale. What makes this feature really powerful is combining it with predefined object styles. With Auto Adjust enabled I can now save this object as a custom delineator style and then use to draw delineators on, plan, on plans with different scales and the device spacing property will always be automatically adjusted to ensure 10 meters on-site distance between cones. Let's try this out. Right click on the object and select save as style. The edit object styles dialog pops up where we can further adjust the style properties. Note how an additional panel is visible at the bottom saying that the delineator object contains scale properties and additionally exposing the auto adjust property together with the unit selection drop down. Because we're creating the style from an object that already had all the right values set we don't need to modify anything here we can just specify uh, a name for the style um, and click save before we try out this new style I'll just quickly mention a couple of other improvements uh, in Rapid Plan 3.9 that are related to editing object styles first of all uh, we've made it easier to assign custom icons to your styles when you click the change icon um, uh, text here you can either use the default tool icon or load your own icon from file or paste it from the clipboard any image copied from the clipboard will, will work fine but a useful tip here is that you can also paste rapid plan objects copied directly from the plan uh, let me uh, just close this dialog for a moment uh, and show you how this works I'll create the icon using a single cone symbol uh, tagged with a 10 meters label. I can now uh, select the whole thing and copy to clipboard. Uh, but rather than pasting elsewhere on the plan, I'll go back to the Object Styles dialog, look up the style we previously created, um, and I can paste that object image as a style icon. So Rapid Plan 3.9 also allows exposing individual object styles in the Scratchpad panel. Uh, this is particularly useful for exposing the styles you use the most often. After saving the style, simply click Add to Scratchpad and the style gets added to your active Scratchpad tab. Okay, so our new delineator style that places cones every 10 meters is now ready and accessible. Uh, in the delineator's uh, style uh, menu uh, and additionally as a Scratchpad button. Uh, so let's try it out. Remember, uh, auto adjusting scale properties means the object will preserve the 10 meter device spacing no matter what the plan scale is. The current plan scale is 1 to 1000, so uh, we've drawn using this style. We can now verify the spacing, and it's correct at 10 meters. We can now try uh, a different plan. I'll create a new plan uh, with a scale of 1 to 500. Um, and again, uh, let's draw using this style and then verify that the spacing is indeed 10 meters. And again, this is correct. So, uh, 
just to summarize a quick reminder that in rapid plan 3.9 the auto adjust mode is available on all, on all objects containing scaled properties so you can create object styles like for example roads with fixed lane width or lane markings with fixed dash and gap lengths all using on-site distance units and preserving these values no matter what your current plan scale is We're slowly reaching the end of this tutorial and the last new feature I'd like to show you is the print regions uh, dockable panel. When upgrading from RapidPlan 3.8 it should be added automatically to your layout alongside the layers list but in case it's not there make sure it's checked in the view menu. So this new control lists all print regions on your current plan and lets you manipulate all of them in one place. Uh, single click activates, selects and zooms to the region, uh, double click lets you rename it. Clicking this icon opens the region in print preview mode and you can also uh, right click uh, to see the full list of region operations. Uh, this control will be particularly useful when you have multiple regions scattered um, across a large plan and instead of having to scroll through the plan to find them, you can simply select them from the list. This wraps up our Rapid Plan 3.9 overview. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you'll find the new features practical and easy to use. Uh, to see the full change log, uh, you can click the link uh, in the Rapid Plan welcome screen. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to get in touch with the Invariant Technical Support Team. Bye.